Hi, Bruce from Safari. And if you recall, just before Christmas, we did a photo of this is an LC79 with our new Meteor batteries that we've got here in the back. 600 amp hours at 12 volt equivalent. It's on this frame here because that's going to go on the back of the camper, which we're going to show you in a minute. But that's been sitting on the back before Christmas there in the weather, the storm, the rain, the whole lot. Batteries are IP66. The plugs on the end are actually IP67. So you can actually hit this with a gurney and it's fine. And it's connected through to the inside with the inverter charger there, a nice Scotty, a Selfie Go, a couple of other gear in here and our starlight switch in here, which I think I showed the last time as well. Now, that's running at 6,000 watts, but just have a look at the cable here. It's tiny, 25 millimeter squared, running 6,000 watts through there because these are 48 volt, and that's the power of 48 volt. If this was 12 volt, there's no way in a million years we could do a project like this. And the power in and power out is here. Let's cut over to Peter. Peter, how are you today? Fantastic, Bruce. Now, have you used the, the uh, truck yet? Look, uh, I haven't gone away with it because of Christmas. However, because we had storms on the Gold Coast over Christmas, I ended up using it for a whole day, running the fridges and the, and the TV inside the house. 240 volts straight out of 48 volt batteries. <laughs> Incredible, eh? Fantastic. And so the wife was happy? absolutely over the moon <laughs> not nothing's thrown away that's a shout out to mary ann there so uh, thank you very much peter so if you want to have um, a battery pack in a in a, a tray like this it could be a, a ute could be a ford ranger it could be anything you like we can put the batteries in the back there we do want to get the inverter inside it hasn't got the right ip rating and I'm going to go around now and have a look around at the light. On the other side, and there's our Starlight product in there, the blue one there with the little red LED on it. And what we've done on the outside here is here's the keypad. So it's a eight-button keypad. Uh, we can custom engrave this, and the lights come through. We haven't done that for Peter yet. He's got outside lights here. He's got one on either side and one in the rear. And just watch this. I turn that on, and there it is, the full light. Uh, that one does the one on the rear. That does the other side. But... Uh, these are dimmable. So our system here, if I hold my finger on this, uh, just watch this, this light will dim down. So you suddenly can have very strong side lights, but if you're camping, you can dim them down. With the travel lander on the back and the batteries that were in the back of the tray here are now moved inside the camper. And you can see we've got other things in here, it doesn't matter. But the 48 volt batteries are in there and we're using the connectors, the Amphenol connectors up here. We're using those to connect through to the inverter charger. There's the Scotty again. The 48 volt battery now goes through the Amphenol connectors into the car here. And then when he camps, he takes the back off and the batteries slide in the tray. Peter actually gets the best of both worlds. And Peter, this has taken us three years to have the right technology to be able to do it. The battery's part of the story here, but the CAN bus and the Scotty and the display there, we cannot do this with a Cherbo and the Victron system because of the way that uh, the screen splits. But with this, you can see the whole batteries and everything on the CAN. I'm glad think? I waited three years. <laughs> what do you think, eh? I'm How good's so that? I'm so happy. Good. So happy. Thank you, Peter. How good's that? 